20th Century Fox debuted a new trailer last night for Alien Covenant. Ridley Scott returns with a brand new installment in the saga that began in 1979 with the new trailer giving fans exactly what they were missing from the previous installment in Prometheus Aliens. The movie stars Michael Fassbender, Katherine Watterson, Billy Crudup, and Danny McBride and will hit theaters on May 19, 2017. Jeremy, what do you think about the new trailer for Alien Covenant? It's all right. <laughs> you know, no, actually, it was really cool. I really liked it a lot. I can't keep a straight face on that one. I mean, Alien Covenant was one is one of my uh, anticipated movies, most anticipated movies of 2017, and the trailer shows why. Again, uh, I, I I feel like the this trailer didn't show us anything we didn't know from the last one. These people go to this planet. They find uh, the, the alien things happen, you know? And it, it happens how we saw it happen in the other one. They're exploring, like, oh, what's that sack with that really ominous thing around it? Let me put my face down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a better look. Yeah, yeah, and then bad things start happening. It looks like Billy Crudup's going to bite it first because yeah. it looks like that thing latches onto its face. Um, looking forward to it, though. I want to see Ridley Scott's return to Alien and the horror genre that Alien really started, the sci-fi horror thing. Uh, and uh, I, I I, guess there's a scene at the end. Schnepp was telling me, he's like, oh, yeah, they shouldn't have shown something at the end. I was like, great, because I actually ended the trailer thinking the trailer was over. I was like, okay, I saw the trailer. I guess there's a thing at the end that I didn't see, uh, which is great, and because I like the secrecy of trailers, but it looks horrific. It looks violent. It looks bloody. It looks very alien, and I'm absolutely looking forward to this, and I'm glad... Guardians of the Galaxy aside, I'm glad this trailer isn't revealing too much because I want to go in there like, I don't know, I just kind of don't know what it's about except Alien then have alien things happen. Although the end of War of the Worlds always has me think every time someone goes to a new planet, I'm like, I feel like the pathogens would wipe these people out. I think that would kill them <laughs> way before the aliens do. And so now I can't help but think about that. That's one of the things I liked about this trailer is that they're on this planet. They're like, oh, look at all the sweet vegetation. It feels so much like we're on Earth. And they're like, but wait a minute. Something's amiss here. I like that part of it. What makes me nervous, which is what made me nervous in Prometheus, it makes me nervous about the Elon Musk SpaceX thing with two private citizens going to the moon. I hope those private citizens are not a couple because you should not be having sex in outer space. You do not put couples into a space ship and instruct them to have sex whether it's in outer space or on a foreign planet because John it does not end well you're stepping on spores you're putting your face in eggs bad things are going to happen now as far as this trailer on a whole I just think you sound a little bit unnecessarily bitter about something I'm not I'm not <laughs> making any accusations I, I sound a little bit like John Lithgow he should have had two Jimmy John I don't want this I rock and roll music getting into my town I know what it is <laughs> If they play Dance the Night Away. They play Dance the Night Away, you can do whatever the hell you want, because that song's a magical piece of pop music. Um, as far as the trailer, John, I think they showed a lot. They showed us a lot about this movie, and I do feel that they were warranted in showing us a fair amount because we're trying to get Alien back to prominence. We're trying to show everybody that, hey, Prometheus was the setup. We're back to the good alien horror vibes that we wanted to get from Ridley Scott in this franchise. I love the footage I am seeing. I'm just worried that they're showing us too much of the story. Uh, I think... First, I love the trailer. I think it's great because I'm one of the many people out there who is not so excited about the new Aliens movie after coming off Prometheus. A lot of people did like Prometheus. A lot of people like myself didn't. And I think showing us what they showed us, I think was almost a necessity. They knew there was a there's a good segment of the movie going on each other that they, they needed to get on board with this movie. These two trailers will get you on board for this movie. I am on board. We now we know what the movie's about. And you know what was interesting? They used a clip from that pre uh, prologue or whatever right. it was that's not mm. in the movie right, right, right. and they use that in the trailer at the beginning. I thought that was interesting, but we know that this is there's a, a new space mission to be the first colonizers of a, of another planet. It's all couples. They go there. They find something strange. Why is there human wheat here? And there's no animals. And then they come across the aliens. Mayhem soon. Now it's a struggle <laughs> to survive. So we know the plot of the film is they showed enough the action to get in. It reminds me of that King Kong trailer they dropped just the other day. The other King Kong trailers were okay. But they think Universal knew or Warner Brothers knew we don't have the audience hooked on this yet. And they put out that trailer. And maybe it showed a little bit too much. I don't know. But... It worked because it got people excited about the movie. I think this trailer does the same thing. What did you think about it? I agree. That last King Kong trailer was showed just enough to get you really excited. And there's more in the, you know, when you see the film, but just like it? Alien uh, Alien Covenant. Um, did they show a little too much? For me, the last 10 seconds, I could have done without, but I don't need to be sold on it. John's right. Like, I actually am one of the people who liked Prometheus and, and, and excited to see 
more Ridley Scott Alien films. So I was already on board after I saw that first teaser, and now this trailer is just confirming, oh, cool, it's, it's, a, it's a derivation of what we've already seen before. It, we know what's going to happen. I love John's describing the bubbly thing. Let me put my face in it. It's, it's, like, it's in every <laughs> single Alien movie. Right, right. The weird thing. Do it again, please. Do yeah, your, well, do no, your it's version it's like, of so explaining it. So the stack it. opens up, and like, you just see this thing <laughs> there doing that. Is. Yeah. And you're like, oh. Yeah, let me stick like, my yeah, face really, in it. Everyone yeah. gets closer. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't need, if I see that happening, I'm staying back. Like, yeah, I, I would be backing, backing up. up. Like, that would be the natural right? reaction to seeing like, somebody smell like? an egg with a living guts and <laughs> right. intestines moving around of its own accord. Right. Hey, there yeah. are strange sounds coming yeah. from the basement of this abandoned house. Yeah. Let's walk down you there. must investigate. <laughs> Is that yeah. a spiny tail? That's not obvious yeah. at all. You know, yeah. this weird egg just opened. I think it's time for me to get a shot. Yeah. <laughs> strange spores coming towards me. Must breathe them in. Right, right. I don't know. Anyway, I'm 100% on board. I love the trailer. I love all the scenes in it, even little slightly spoilerish ending thing. If you're watching the trailer, just turn it off. Uh, watch your thing. Like twenty, the last twenty seconds, don't watch it. To you know, be fair, what I will say is this: is like, is that that, that first teaser that they showed? Yeah. Hooked me. I right. loved Prometheus, but I needed to see the xenomorph in its full fledged kick ass right form on. again. I needed to see a mouth open and another tinier mouth come mm. out of that thing. That's what I got. So that so I was already hooked. If you weren't sold or you didn't see that trailer for whatever reason, this is going to sell you yeah. on the fact yeah. that we're back to alien. The way that that thing yes. just pounds its head, it's it's the oh, coolest, awesome. yeah. the coolest windshield scene I've seen since the counselor with Cameron Diaz. That's right, and <laughs> Danny McBride. So and he's involved in in, in the windshield scene. And then so, the, the Terminator have one that was did the headbutt on the totally. windshield in the helicopter, yeah, yeah. In the helicopter. Yeah, the helicopter. that's right yeah. out you know uh the, the the whole thing the plot of this movie is they're colonizing this planet and then they find uh they find the sacks and then the aliens happen mm. there was a part of me that was like is this a prequel to aliens when they're the color because before aliens these colonists go to lv it was 426 right? there were hundreds of them yeah, yeah. Mm. But, but i mean you know it, they, they could have been the, the dog they could have been the scouts right right, right. Yeah. and so I, I was like is this leading what name is on those dog tags uh, right do we gotta zoom in and find Ooh. out but i don't think it is because there's vegetation here in the L lv 426 it was, was pretty desolate pretty barren yeah. place and it was very stormy yeah. but you know who knows